we polled you guys actually for some retinal questions. So yeah. some of these are really great. We're actually going to do more than two mm -hmm. than we usually do. Um, let's start with, this is a question from Lifalina. Mm -hmm. Can I continue to apply my other serums and facial oil on top of the retinol? Generally speaking, yes, retinol can actually go well with many, many serums. Um, just when you're introducing, beware to not overwhelm skin mm -hmm. if your other serums are also very high levels of active. Totally. Um, I would say water-based serums should most likely go before your retinol because your retinol is likely a cream or oil base. Mm. You can put a face oil on top of retinol. I tend to feel like it's not necessary mm. because retinol products um, have a baseline of hydration already. True. But, They're yeah. usually emulsions. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Next question. This is from at right in 23 your thoughts on following up retinol with the specialist? So the specialist is our a um, one of our wow <laughs> <laughs> is, is one of our exfoliating acid treatments that features eighteen percent mandelic acid, two percent cell acid, and five percent niacinamide. It sounds daunting, but actually mandelic acid is a large molecule and yeah. it's gentle enough to use a leave-on spot treat. <laughs> Go, Looking at Victoria on. to answer the actual question. <laughs> right, right. Um, so because of that, um, I would say, okay, so I think for acne individuals, it's not uncommon to mm -hmm. stack this level of actives together in a routine. Yeah. Just going to say it right now, a lot of us are have really um, intense regimens and this layering is not, I think a lot of us will feel like, oh, yes, I've done it before. Yeah. But again, is it it's definitely higher strength. So it is something that we would recommend maybe try patch testing in your retinal routine to see how skin does um, before you kind of go full in, full blown active sandwich here. But yeah, I would say it doesn't I, I'm not phased, but I also would like you to tread carefully. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, sometimes we recommend, especially if you're early on your yeah. retinal uh, journey yeah. to just kind of space out the nights. Totally. Yeah. Good point. Cool. Next, at Sarah Smile Twenty Six asks, "My lips are inflamed, but skin is fine after upping tretinoin to three times a week. Mm. Tips to prevent." So probably what's happening here is the product is traveling. Mm -hmm. um, so we would try to say, you know, do your best to avoid the lip area. Um, I don't know if that's possible, but you know, a lot of people are, you know, more concerned about the nasal labial fold and then the chin area, but. I would say that's probably one area. And then um, sometimes we've recommended doing applying an occlusive yeah. as kind of that offer. Yeah, that like topical um, film protection um, before applying retinol. Yeah, I was going to say um, if you have a balm, you can maybe either use your fingers or use a Q-tip yeah. to just line the edges of your lips a little bit. Apply it before. Before the Not tread. after. After will make it worse. We'll but. seal it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was going to add that uh, retinol is oil soluble. So mm -hmm. this method wouldn't work as well as, say, preventing like true. AHA from no, irritating. That's true. But it also yeah. worked to some degree. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's really all you can do because it depends on the formula. You'd be mm -hmm. surprised how certain formulas you create can really, they Run. just have this spreadability. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, next question. This is from at Stellbell20. What's a good eye cream with retinol for wrinkles? What would you recommend? I totally added this question as a self-serving <laughs> moment. But, hmm. um, what is a really good clinically <laughs> tested retinol that yeah. we tried? That's also you can use for face. Uh, um, we will have to say our very own double play <laughs> retinol. This is one where we formulated and tested specifically to use both around the eye and yes. face with um, minimal irritation. Yeah. So proceed with caution, definitely in patch test and ramp up. And I will say, if you want to try anything else, we do recommend looking for options that's been tested for the eye mm -hmm. area because it's not just about the retinol, the formula as a whole. Um, like Victoria mentioned in the track question, some formulas are runnier than others. Mm -hmm. This is definitely not an area you want that like excess migration to happen. Yep. Treat that as our commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Last question uh, that we are going to tackle is from at Trintru. Can breastfeeding moms use retinol or is it a big no-no? Oh, okay, right. So, <laughs> take a deep breath. Um, yeah, you can definitely use retinol when you're breastfeeding. I think um, retinol and the law of vitamin A in general is something that gets flagged to pregnant women, mm -hmm. especially oral vitamin A because it's known as something that could cause birth defects. But your baby's grown now and it is out. It is a semi-functional being and retinol topically is totally fine. 
Yeah, the penetration of it is very low, conversion. On top of that, they looked at retinal supplements during the time of breastfeeding as an actual helpful antioxidant Mm -hmm. and nutrient. So we would say generally for the most part, you are good to go and congratulations. Yeah. All right. I think that's the end. That's it. Thank you guys so much. Um, Next week's episode, we'll get into the retinoid world a little bit more. I think it's going to be good. I hope so. Yeah, because, you know, we're looking at things like combining retinol with other actives mm-hmm. comparing them with other retinoids so i i'm looking forward to this 